Good day, great day, blessed day, people. I am back with another video, back with another review, back with another vlog. I am back. Like I never left. I didn't leave. This is part two to my video from earlier. Um, I said I was going to do a comparison video. I said that I was going to dig in the archives in my collection and I was going to pull out a shoe, a mid, a Jordan 1 mid. I said I was going to pull out a Jordan 1 mid and I was going to compare it to the Marina Blue Jordan 1s that came out today. Um, to be honest with y'all, I don't know. I don't know if I should apologize to Jordan Brand or apologize to you guys for misleading y'all, but it wasn't intentional. Like, I know they mass produced these shoes and I know I can't really expect every pair to be perfect. So, I was mistaken on the leather quality for these shoes that just came out. Um, I think I was mistaken <laughs> because, and I also said that, I said I wasn't even gonna get the shoe, but by now y'all should be used to me doing this. And I'm, I wasn't nitpicking or nothing crazy like that, but, I got the shoe, so I apologize for getting the shoe. Or should I apologize? I ain't gotta apologize to y'all for getting the damn shoe. I got the shoe, okay? I got it, okay? The leather quality was not as bad as what I thought, but we still gonna go on to this damn comparison video. That's what we gonna do. I promise y'all a comparison video. So, instead of me bringing one shoe out of the archives, I'm gonna bring two shoes out of the archives to compare it to the Jordan 1 Marina Blues. First off, I'm going First off, I'm going to well, First off, I'm bringing out the Marina Blues. And Let me take out this, uh, let me take this, take this out first. See, I don't know, y'all. I do know. I don't know, it's something about this shoe this shoe is a whole lot softer. I don't know. Maybe I was having a bad day or or maybe I just didn't. Maybe maybe this was in there when I was. I don't know. That could be it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all forgive me. That's all I'm saying. Forgive me because these are not bad. And this is not the first time that I... I've been put in a position where I had to eat my own words. Next time, I'm just going, if I feel like just going off and going on a rant about a shoe, I won't do it right away until I get my facts together. But these on something, they decent, they pretty decent. And the leather is so, it, it's, it's pretty soft, y'all. I'm sorry. It is, it's pretty soft. So they didn't, they didn't totally, I cannot say that they dropped the ball on these. Definitely my apologies, I eat my words on these and it is what it is. I always say it is what it is, but like I said, I'm going to pull these mids out. I'm going to pull these mids out. Pull these mids out. I keep saying about the pull these mids out. Okay, here we go. 
These are the Air Jordan 1 Mid Michigan. And these are dope. This shoe, for those of you that feel like the jaw too good to wear mids, now I'm challenging you. This is where the war starts. Now I'm challenging you. For those of you that feel like you too good to buy Jordan mids or to wear Jordan mids, this shoe right here, this shoe right now, I'm about to drop the shoe. This shoe right now on Stock X goes for over $700, depending on what size you wear. You're not gonna get a pair of these for under seven right now. So I challenge anybody that might have a regular OG Jordan 1 in their collection that's worth more than these mids that I'm holding in my hand. And the quality, the quality of these mids is on point and it's just as good as these right here. It's just as good. So I'm challenging anybody. So dig in your collection and see what you got. But these the real deal right here. Right now I got my shoe tree. Got my shoe tree in here. This is something that people don't stress enough about sneakers. You can purchase a shoe tree and put a shoe tree in your sneakers to prevent your shoe or to help with the creasing. These shoes have got to be over seven years old. If I could look it up right now, I would look it up to tell you exactly what year they came out, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna do that right now at this minute, but these shoes, and I had, in the past, I wore them. I was wearing the hell out of these shoes because this was one of like one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite Jordans that came out. I always been a big fan of the ones, but I bought these at a time when ones wasn't even as hot as what they are right now. People wasn't even really biting on the ones. Everybody, oh, I don't really like ones. But to me, my favorite Jordan is the Jordan 1. I don't care if it's a mid, I don't care if it's a high, I don't care if it's a low. And on another video, I might even pull out some lows that y'all forgot about. Cause I got some lows y'all probably forgot about. And the leather quality is on point on those too. It was uh, probably before they started making this new, they got a new version of the Jordan 1 low. But let me get these a little closer. And as you can see, like this leather is not all all stiff on the you know on the toe box and stuff. And we got a nice nice leather upper. Yeah, the jump man they had the jump man on the back. Like these was cool, but you can you can look at the leather on the toe box. And see that this is some decent leather because they have aged. They have aged well. It's not as stiff as um, what we've been getting on mids uh, today. The quality is not even the same as it used to be for the mids. Like, because this is, I think this mid was, it was made very well. It was made very well. Of course, the tongue, the tongue on these is leather instead of uh, like the nylon or whatever, but like these hitting hard. I always thought these was hitting hard. Like you could put me in a room of people with OG highs on and I step these shutting something down. That's just like I said, it's my opinion, but a lot of sneaker heads will say the same thing. This particular mid, it's shutting something down. I don't care what anybody say. These mids right here is hidden. They definitely hidden. But holding, you know, looking at them both next to each other, quality wise, it's not that much of a difference. But like I said, this is also a shoe that was probably, this shoe might be 10 years old. Like I bought it when it came out. It's probably 10 years old. It's aged well, but. 
it's made. The shoe was made. The shoe was was definitely built to last. So, Jordan Brand, if you're listening, I done already apologized to you about this shoe that y'all dropped today. <laughs> so, I'm just telling you, bring us back this quality on the mids. If you want to do something, bring us back this same quality that you gave us 10 years ago. Bring, Give us this again. Give us this. I want this back for the mids. So people can stop trashing mids. I got a few mids. This, like I said, this probably killing some OG highs. So it is what it is, man. I'm just saying. However, I had somebody uh, comment on one of my videos about did I have all of the shoes that I was reviewing and uh, did I have a collection? So that was one shoe that I just pulled out of the archives. I'm just not gonna do a whole video and show y'all everything at once, but I got some heat. I'm sitting on some heat. And this next shoe is some heat. And I'm probably giving y'all too much today, but since I ain't seen y'all in a while, I'm gonna give y'all too, I'm just gonna give you too much. That's what I'm gonna do. Now this next, this next shoe, is the heat of all heat. The heat of all heat of Jordans. And this may be on some of y'all lists for being grilled. Just the epitome of a Jordan sneaker. You know what? I'm gonna stop hyping it up and I'm just gonna give it to you in the raw. This is what I'm talking about right here. The OG Jordan 1 High. Black toe. These is it. Never worn. That is not what I said. Siri, stop. Alexa, stop. Whoever the hell you are, stop. Excuse me, that was not planned. You didn't get to talking. These damn snitch ass, uh, these damn snitch ass smart, smart devices all over the damn house and you say something and then they respond, that was weird, that was real strange. I'm about to pull all of these bitches up out my, excuse me, I'm about to pull these damn things up out my house, but anyway, uh, back to what I was saying, <laughs> this shoe is it, this is it, I'm gonna let you get a closer look at this, this shoe has never been worn. Not a crease, not a wrinkle. I lace these up. I lace them up like I like to lace them with the, I call these uh, bunny ears. I laced them like I, uh, you know, like I wanted to wear them. But I looked at the shoe and I love this shoe so much. It was just like, I can't wear these. I can't, I just, I can't wear them. I can't wear them. I can't sell them. It's sad. I had to take this little fake shoe tree thing out. But now these, this is just something this is, so, look at, this is just something different. It's something, I mean, it's all of this is soft. Like, all of it, I don't even know. I don't even know, no, y'all. Uh-uh, 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 I don't know. Y'all be the judge, but you, this, even the leather, the black toe part is just so soft. Look, you can see it wrinkle when you touch it. I don't, I don't know, y'all. Like I said, I didn't already apologize for what I said about, I don't know, It's maybe it's close. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a jerk. It's close, that's all I'm saying. It's it's fairly close. Both, both pretty dope shoes, but. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because of the colorway. I'm a diehard Chicago Bulls fan. I don't know, but this is this is it right here. <laughs> this is it right here for me, y'all. I'm just saying. Now I can't even tell if I'm putting the right shoe tree. I done messed up. I done messed up, y'all. Yeah, I done messed up. You know I gotta figure this out before I slip this back in here. Now I gotta pull the other one out to make sure the uh the little cardboard tree things match 
I'm gonna do this right now. I think I messed up though. I figured out real fast. I think I messed up. Did I? Like it matters if the cardboard matches. To me, it matters. Okay, now I can tell. Hell, I can't tell. What the hell have I done? I done messed up, y'all. Yeah, I done messed up. I guess it don't matter. Don't look like this shoe going anywhere anytime soon. I can't sell it. I don't want to wear it. So we just going to keep it at that. But I had to break. I had to break into the collection. For those of you who really wondering how hard or how dominant my shoe collection is, I had to dig in there and pull even if it was just two shoes, I had to pull them two shoes out to let people know that I'm I'm serious. Cause I think the I think the person said, I can't even remember who it was. They said that uh you can't be a sneaker guy without a collection. Well I got heat. I got some heat over here. For the record. Major heat. Fire heat. Inferno heat. Now I got some heat. <laughs> but hey, I had to show, pull those two shoes out. You guys let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the Marina Blues. Let me know what you think about the Michigan Mids. And make sure y'all go on Stock X and look these up. Oh, not OG, but they are listed as Jordan 1 Mid Michigan. And it's going to be the first shoe to pop up. Look them up. Check the price out on these and see what they're running for. Um, you know, let me know what you think of the Michigans, the Michigan Mids, the Marina Blues. And uh, OG Black Toes. Let me know what y'all think about all of these shoes. And I will get back with you guys another time. That is today's video. So, if you like part two of today's video, click the like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And as always, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Peace. Love you guys.